What's up, man? What's up, man? Okay, thank you. Good. Go, Kelly. See Atlee? Go, Atlee. You posted a reel? See, people are still liking my reel. Stop. <laughs> when did you post a reel? This one. Oh, that's the one I posted, you fool. Alright, look look over there. You see it? Look at the chain, baby. You see it, baby? That's cool, huh? <laughs> Second, please. Okay, we're ready. Okay. Kids meal cheeseburger with apple juice. The meal. No meal. No meal. Um, okay. Your hair is god awful, that hair. You need a haircut. No, I don't. You need a haircut. You look you look crazy. Because it's windy. Yeah, it's windy. Sorry. Remember when we got this for Nash's nursery? <laughs> I honestly feel like I was organizing his freaking nursery yesterday. Burp claws and bibs. Let me see what you found. Are you finding all kinds of treasures in here? There are no treasures. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are we gonna play with that at home? Mm -hmm. That's for the baby, huh? You know, Nash, you know you laid in this when you were a baby? Did you know that? Mm -hmm. You did, you slept in that, napped mm -hmm. in it. Look, when you were a baby, you put this H-E-B sticker on there. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. We gotta clean it, cause it's messy. Look, let me show you something. Is that where your baby's gonna go? Yeah. I wanna ride in it. You can <sighs> Sorry if you hear my air blasting. It is like already so hot in Texas. I'm super, super annoyed right now. Not a lot of people know this, but my husband, Maddie Burr, is the most disorganized I've ever person I've ever seen in my life my entire freaking life and it's like one of our biggest struggles one of our biggest fights like it makes our life ten times harder because he just doesn't know how to be organized he loses things all the time he's like the type of person that has to put air tags on everything because uh, I always wondered if people actually did that and I, I I married I married the person that actually needs that so anyways I could sit here and roast him on it forever because it is the most, it's his worst quality, honestly. Um, we can't find a single newborn item in our storage unit. And if I showed you the picture, let me just, let me just show you. Let me just show you. So I wasn't here for, <clears throat> when we moved out of our last house, Matt was in charge of the storage unit, like putting everything in the storage unit. Well. In my mind, I'm like, stack things up to where you can see what's in them, what you know, you in case you need to go back to storage and get something. What are you doing? Um, no, we, he wasn't even stacking. He, he just uh, tossed hey, things in. Literally toss things in. I think a fourth of our things in there are broken yeah. now. Um, so let me just show you a pick of what our storage unit looks like. Yeah. So uh -huh. a beautiful doll. Oh, Maddie Burr. Like, it's going to be so expensive to replace every single newborn item. So that's where we're at now. We don't have a single newborn item from storage. I like it cool. So. I'll update you. Now we're at home looking in the attic, so fingers crossed. All right, no luck in the attic either. Um, I think Matt's gonna go back to storage, because, I mean, that's where it is. 
it's just it's very frustrating because like moms just use things for their kids multiple times. So I just made a very conscious effort to label everything really well when we sold our house and keep the things that I didn't want to repurchase. And I don't know, hopefully we find it because it would suck to buy all brand new because as soon as we move into this house that we're building, we're gonna find all the baby stuff and then I'm gonna have like two sets of everything I can't. Um, but we did find the Ubi diaper pill. Because it was large and not packed in the box, so we were able to find it. But I have no clue what's on top of it, so we need to clean it. No, literally, what is this? It's wiping off. All right, voila. So like I said, we were able to find some of like just the big stuff that was thrown in there. So I have the Dock Tot that I used for Nash. It needs to be washed, even though it's been in a case. Um, it's just been sitting in storage. We found the Duna. Um, I need to take that off and wash it because it's been sitting in storage. And then one of the Duna um, bases. Mama needs coffee. I'm going to show you my newest coffee obsession that I've been loving. I absolutely love the Dutch Bros Kicker and I learned how to make it at home. Okay, so I just brewed one of my Nespresso pods. Dutch Bros uses two shots of espressos in their kicker, but it's already 1.30 in the afternoon and I just, I know myself and I shouldn't do that. You want a kicker? I want a kicker. <laughs> oh, I need a triple kicker. So you actually did like it then. So I usually put the syrup first because I do the you syrup up to this like first little line here. Dang it, I forgot. Yes, I was distracted. Did. We're just gonna eyeball it. Good job. You want a double kicker, you said? Double shot of espresso? Sure. Triple? Instagram girlies, no. Like I said, I linked all of this because it's my latest obsession. My Sonic Ice. Because the ice just makes it. Then you get... So Dutch uses all half and half with their kicker. And I was just telling Matt that it's like very heavy. So I think I'm gonna do half, half and half, and then top the rest with just milk. One thing about Matt is he won't be up all night with caffeine late and a double shot. You're gonna need your Irish cream syrup. Do it to that first line at the bottom. Like so. All right, this is the Dutch Bros Kicker at home. I highly suggest you go to my Amazon storefront and buy everything for it if you're a Dutch Bros girly because this is way cheaper, obviously. Fresh. Fresh as shit. Okay, I did get a few things, so let me show you from Amazon. I got this little cart, 10 out of 10. I actually returned two. I was going for a very particular style and sturdiness it also rolls but i'll link this in my amazon for you i got let me show you these are breast pads i had these from when i had nash but this is new for me i used the haka with nash and everyone was yelling at me telling me that i needed the boon trove with this baby and that it's so much better than the haka so we're gonna try this out obviously i can't try it out until the baby's here and i'll let you know I just have random wipes in here, random boxes. This is cool though with a cart. This lid opens and closes, which is kind of nice. And then I could set like my drinks and stuff up there. I'm probably gonna put it bedside. And then, I don't know, just random basket. Just starting to collect baskets and stuff because I know that'll be used a lot. And then I did get baby's bassinet. So I really wanted a bedside bassinet this time. So this unzips. This whole thing comes down and baby's just laying right next to you. You put it right up to your bed and it'll make for a really easy breastfeeding, but also it'll feel like the baby. Cough drops for my throat. Also, it'll feel like the baby is just. I like those. They're, they're, no, I don't think you're gonna like a cough drop. It is 
the baby's laying right next to you. Um, this is the mattress pad that it comes with, which is actually super soft. I feel like <sighs> these days it's really hard to just find comfortable items for your newborns, which I know that it's because of like all the safety standards. I know there's reasons for that, but like shit. Nash's bassinet was hard as a, why is it stuck? I want to lay it down and show you. Nash's bassinet was hard as a freaking rock. He used the halo bassinet. It was like three times the cost of this one. And, um, yes, baby, I see you. And it was hard as a freaking rock. My poor baby was a reflux baby. He just wanted some comfort. But I was a first time mom and I was just so terrified of like giving him any comfort because you know how it goes with newborns. Anyways, this is safe, safe sleep, but I just love how comfortable the mattress is and I love the price point. All, um, the mattress cover also comes off so you can wash it. And then this is adjustable, like depending on how tall you want it. So I love it. Where did Nash go? Is that, <gasps> hello? <laughs> hello? <laughs> Where did my Nashie go? I see his hand. <laughs> okay. Oh, Daddy closed the garage. We're taking a little break from nesting and we are gonna do sidewalk chalk. Where do you want to color? Pick a spot. Wait, why are you going to the road? Stay up here. No, 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 you don't need to go to the road. Okay. All right. Oh, do we get it? Here. Hey, look, baby. <laughs> oh, no, we don't have to dump them all out. Just. Pick a color. Yeah, there you go. Oh, this is, this one is black. Mm-hmm, that is black. Good job. And this is white. Yeah. And this is orange. You are so right. Which one are you going to color with? Mm, all the colors. Okay, so you want them all out. Okay, booty is. <laughs> what? Did you say that? that's a booty? Yeah, <laughs> it's a booty. You're such a boy. <laughs> what did mommy make? What is that? Apple. An apple. Uh, you got a bobo? So we had a late breakfast, kind of didn't have lunch. We're gonna have an early dinner out back, but we're gonna do like a shrimp bowl. So I have potatoes in here. I have an egg, eggs, um, some corn. I got the Crawford box sausage. The shrimp's thawing in the sink, but let me show you. I was super influenced by TikTok. I actually bought this on TikTok shop. This is my first TikTok shop purchase and it is like a shrimp bowl seasoning. The girl that sells it was eating it with just hard boiled eggs and I was actually drooling watching it, but it's half a stick of butter, some garlic, and then this seasoning, spicy Cajun seafood seasoning. I'm gonna see if it's too spicy for Nash, and if it's not, he'll eat it, but I'll probably end up making him mac and cheese, but I am so excited for this. Oh my gosh. Look how freaking good this looks. I'm so tired, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the vlog here. I'm catching up on Summer House right now. My feet hurt so bad, I just wanna chill. But, I have some good news. We found some baby stuff. So Matt ended up going back to storage and found a few things of baby stuff, which is better than nothing. There's still a lot more that needs to be found. But this is like Swaddles, the Merlin sleep suit, like good stuff, you know?
So I'll keep you updated on if the rest of the stuff gets found. I thought it would be fun to pull them out for us to look at. These are, I don't know if you can see the tags, six to nine, nine to 12. So these are older. I'm not even gonna bother. I think that this is three-ish month, but this is what I need. All of the freaking burp cloths, the swaddles, the bibs. We had two of the Magic Merlin sleep suits. This is stuff that I didn't want to rebuy. So I'm so happy that I have them. This swaddle, the Miracle Blanket swaddle, was seriously the only newborn swaddle that Nash would sleep with. So that's what I was looking for before you start yelling at me that, oh my God, it's a boy, we know the gender. I thought about this with like all of our kids, no matter what their gender is. His clothes was never very like boy coded. All of it was like pretty neutral. And regardless, if I do have a daughter, she gonna be wearing hand-me-downs. <laughs> we are not too good for hand-me-downs around here. That is for sure. And also this is our baby Brezza. Speaking of the baby Brezza, I do wanna do a separate video to kinda talk to you about um, what I want feeding the baby to look like. This time it's gonna be not super different from Nash, but I'm more educated this time around. So the plan is gonna be a little different. So I do wanna do a sit down, like prepping for breastfeeding, feeding the baby, all the things type of video. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. We're gonna chill. Thanks for hanging out with me, Lila.